Bruce? Bruce? Pero que para usted pudo ser desagradable. No, señor. Nada que haga Dulce María puede ser desagradable para mí. Feels all right. Had a pleasure and you know what's tonight. Still bad. This is on time. Lost some girls, lost some girls, and you say wonder why. Well, when did you decipher? At exactly 0400. Let's have it. It's just three words. I didn't ask for a word count. Give me the message. You won't believe it. We've checked and double checked and it keeps coming up the same. Colonel, the message is, Mars needs women. Sir, the Doppler radar has changed. They're going to communicate. Communicate? They have a condition. We must agree to shut down everything that scans. Only the radio can stay on. Ultimatums. Ultimatums from an enemy we haven't even met yet. Sir, how can we be sure that they are enemies? Let's go. Turn off the servers, transponders, and Doppler relays. Attention monitor one. Do you read us? Reading. Loud and clear. We have attempted to seize three women through transponder. We have been unsuccessful. Now we come in person. Prepare for materialization. What do you mean, materialization? Forgive me. I forget the scientific distances that separate us. In the center of the room, please. All Earthmen clear for a space of three yards. I will join you as soon as it's clear. If you reach for me or try to restrain me, just as I materialize, so will I disappear. Everybody back. Don't try anything. My name is Dup. I come from Canali Primary Debarkation of Red Planet Mars. We have been spaceborne for 70 days. We have maintained a constant of 25,000 miles per hour. We have asked that you turn off all scanners that may locate us or determine our silhouettes. We have complied. Now you must disclose your mission. We come not as hostiles. We are medical missionaries. An acute recession in the Y chromosome has resulted in a preponderance of male births over female. The ratio is now 100 to 1. Advanced technology has been unable to solve this problem. Therefore, we have come 50 million miles to your Earth. Will you define your mission? Ours is an experimental voyage. Our craft is small, a crew of five, but with room for five more passengers. We seek female volunteers, unmarried, and containing the qualities of fertility and reproduction. What you're saying is insane. We are in earnest. The life of our planet depends upon this. Although we may sympathize with your problem, yours is still an overt action of abduction and law. We demand that you abort your mission and return to Mars. It is unfortunate that you do not choose to cooperate. Under the circumstances, I return to my ship to complete this mission with or without your cooperation. In exactly 30 seconds, we will begin radio silence. You will not hear from us again until our mission is complete. Thank you and goodbye. And at the United Nations in New York, 
our ambassador called for an emergency meeting of the Security Council. He urged the cessation of all world conflicts so that we may be united to meet this enemy from outer space. He called the Martians the world's first common enemy.